So some of you, as you were getting this article out, were like, this article was infuriating. And I totally agree, it was. So last week when we read it for understanding, we got the basic meaning of what the author was trying to say. Today we're gonna get back into our small groups and go deeper into this really infuriating article. And we're gonna figure out how did the author actually make us feel that strong, strong emotion? Okay, authors are really powerful when we read. The words they choose, the details they include, they make us feel certain ways. So we're gonna analyze exactly how he did that and why he made us feel this way when we read, okay? So when I say go, we're gonna move back into our small groups. Okay, where I let you guys jump into reading. We learned a skill of how to use footnotes. Can someone remind me about footnotes? Exactly. It gives us the meaning and it helps build our understanding of what we read. Okay. So take the next five minutes and independently finish reading and giving strength, pride, and dignity. I want you to underline three most important details as you read. At least three. Okay. You may begin reading. It gives us a short that So that's, those are good questions, and you, you've chosen details that are very important. I believe that if you read and try to answer your question, you'll be able to figure it out. Because you notice that it's very expensive. You notice that at the end, the picture ended up being a good thing. Mm -hmm. Try to figure out exactly how the picture helped her when she was sick. Start reading from this paragraph again. Oh, and I wrote okay. some sentences. I don't know how I continue to deliberate and put uh, a break because that means to decrease. Yeah, to decrease. I was actually just having that conversation. So those words aren't exactly synonyms, but they are related words because they both mean deteriorate just has a more negative meaning. Great, Marco. So on these edges, you guys continue working independently. I'm very pleased to see so many thoughtful questions in the margins, so many underlined details. We, the three of us, are going to move on. I want you to share the details that you selected and see if you chose similar details that were important. Okay, so let's do step one first. Which were the key details that you thought were most important from this section? And why? Okay, so the three of you guys are gonna have an active conversation. Oh, I'll follow the detail. Um, it said, um, when, when they took the photo of Thompson and when she published it, um, when the people saw it, it gave the people pride and, pride and dignity, so like they felt sorry for her. And they like really wanted to help her, so it's just something that they sent a 2,000, 2000 letters arrived at for her of the people telling her like to feel she feels better and because they cared about her when they saw the picture. They did care, but let's talk about that word dignity. Do you guys know what the word dignity means? Do you want to girls? Oh, I think dignity means how she is and like. Um, who she really is instead of like um, how people say it and things about her but like the real truth about her instead of a, a, a lie is maybe like how she is. So dignity does have to do with how you are. It's not exactly what dignity means but we're getting there. Dignity is related to the way you It's like having inner strength within you and believing in yourself and if you act that way people say that you have dignity like pride in yourself. So you said that a lot of people, yeah, like Addie, said, a lot of people say that it gave them strength, pride, and dignity. So do you want to revise your earlier sentence when you said it made them feel sorry for her? In two sentences, summarize for me what happened to her at the end of her life, Martha. Just two sentences. Just two sentences. Just to Florence Owens Thompson. Florence, Florence um, died in her son's home. She eventually died, but as we know, a lot happened before that. So she had cancer. Okay. How did her family initially respond when she was like, "These pictures, David"? They were sorry, and they were talking to her after. Okay, so they wanted to support her. The truth is figure out why these people cared so much to donate. And I'm going to direct you guys to the second paragraph on the last page. I'm going to read aloud. And think to yourself as I read and as you follow, why might these people donate to the fund?